I'm Brad Stark, and I'm joined today with Jeb Harris from Hey, Red Brad. Line How you doing? Good to see you. Great. Is Redline a part of the new Open Series, Open Championship Series? Events? Right. Yes. So uh, there's two two sides to it. So the Open Championships was a championship that we just completed in Orlando in May, early May, and that was our first year. And it was um, uh, four or five companies came together. We knew there was a need for something different to offer something different. So we didn't have a whole season to work on it and give bids and things like that. We just more or less put the competition together, told our customers about it, and, and provided a really nice experience at Universal Studios Orlando. Um, it was on property. The event was uh, somewhat outdoors. It was covered, um, but just a really nice day for the athletes. Couple of days and some really nice prizes and things like that. So from that, we. This evolved into the Open Series, which will begin this season. And the Open Series is a series of events. We have uh, close to 150 events now set up with 17 event producers. And you can um, go pick your event you want to go to. You pick your championship that you want to end the season with. And throughout the year, you can attend those events. But every Monday um, after the weekend, we'll come out with series rankings. And so you can see how your team ranks against the others in the country. And this based is on, on a regional. Yes, it's so. on a regional. So it's split up into different regions. And you can pull up your region and see where you stand after the weekend. Um, if you're in a certain position ranking-wise, you're going to win extra big credits for the end of the year event. So let's say uh, you're going to the end of the year event in Galveston. And the entry fee, the base entry fee, like if you didn't attend any events, but you attended that because it is an open championship, let's say it's $165. And it's going to be a really nice event, a lot of fun stuff to do, uh, really great production. Well, let's say you attend a Redline event and you win overall high point. That might be 20 big credits off, so then your entry fee is now 145. And then let's say the rankings come out Monday and you happen to be ranked number one or number two or wherever you may be, mm -hmm. then you're going to get another $10 off, another $10 big credit. So basically throughout the season you can see and, and the parents in your gym and the, and the directors can see that, hey, that entry fee that was once 165 is now down to 145 or 125, which that means instead of your season getting more expensive, it's getting less expensive, it's, it's easier to manage. And then that way when the athletes attend that event and they finish the year on a on a high note or, or an exciting event like that, then the idea is they're going to come back to the gym, sign back up, be back in the program another year, and that's hopefully the idea is to build uh, you know a stronger gym base by doing that. So. And how exciting is that going to be for these gyms, not only for the gym owners, but for the athletes? This is cutting edge. Right. There's no other promotion, cheer promotion in the country that is going to attempt, that has attempted in the past to rank gyms. Right. Is that correct? Right, exactly. Yeah, and it's super exciting. And we wanted something completely different than anybody's doing. Um, Heidi Weber with Celebrity, she's uh, kind of the brains behind it. Uh, David Hanbury uh, with Deep South, he, he came up with that, the idea. Heidi's getting it in motion. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a full staff as of last week that's going to be working on, on getting the rankings out right. accurately, keeping track of it, um, keeping the financial side of it for the gym. And we're all able to answer questions, but we have a dedicated, complete, basically company now that's going to start this, and we're super excited. And it, once it gets rolling, it's it's going to be awesome for the athletes and for the gym owners. I can see through this ranking system the growth potential for the Open Championship Series by doing these rankings. Right, yeah. right, and that's the idea. And so, really, because in our industry, it's been so just one direction. It's been you go to one really high-priced events try to get a bid, try to end your season at, at Disney World or in Orlando. Um, and so now, it, it's you can mix it up a little bit. You can, one, your season's gonna be more cost effective. It'll get less expensive as the season goes on. And then you have a choice. If you get down to the end of the season and you don't wanna travel to Florida or Phoenix, you can travel in Texas to Galveston. If you're up in the north to Chicago, you find one in your area and it just makes it a, a lot easier. Or you can still take the big trip if you want to or do it every other year. And you're going to get the same production at all those events. So we have a quality control uh, manager that will be at those events, run those events. And so if you went to one in Orlando or you went to one in Phoenix, you're going to get the same experience either way. 